Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. It is Sunday night, and you know what that means. It's the Market Watch. That's right, the Asian markets open at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And we usually check about two minutes after because Kitco is a little slow in reporting those numbers out of the starting gate, as we've seen after doing this for a while. You've kind of learned to recognize and the Please timing of that stuff. Of Very zone. good. Make sure everything is working here. We've got some participants here with us already. Welcome. JD is here. Benny Barker is here. Good to see you guys. Thanks for being here, Grow Mechanic. Zephiel, Tony Steele, the Blind Silver Stacker, the Stacking Points is here, and Black Silver Staff is here early too. Good to see you. All right. Glad you are all here. Welcome. And the Treasure Seeker is here too. All right. And so is Hugo Boss. Yes, indeed. Truthful Troll is here as well. And so is Eric Hoffner, ready for me to sing a song. All right. And Silver Honda is here. He drives a blue Honda. Yes, indeed. We mourn the loss of B.J. Thomas. Raindrops are falling on our heads. Yes, indeed. I remember that song. And to see you. Yeah, all right. And Virginia Stacker, Sea Monkey Metals. A lot of good folks. We're going to get right into some of these comments here. Um, Battleborn says beautiful artwork on the on these hobo nickels. Yes, it was pretty cool. Love to see those things. Amazing the artistry involved. I'd love to own one one day too. Gold Maple says it was another guy on YouTube who was heavily into silver. Raw Dog Latard. That's right. He had a dog who he called Raw Dog, and everyone started calling him Raw Dog Latard after his dog. Well, he actually used to be used to go by Raw Dog as well. Yeah, I think he's still around, but he usually he creates a channel and shuts it down and creates another one and shuts it down. And uh, But anyways, uh, but let's see here. He says that he was unemployed because he got uh, uh, got divorced because he was unemployed. Ex-wife did not like him eating too much junk food. I don't know if he so makes you... I think he does. I saw him recently, but anyways, very good. All right. And Hooser Stacker is here. One solar technology breaks through. The barriers that currently limit and array's uh, efficiency and capacity of solar technology costs will drop as the demand surges. Since we know silver is key for solar equipment, this surge will drive up and sustain the silver spot price as much more affordable implementation of the technology, namely residential installments and solar farms, are deployed in mass quantities. I agree. I think that cost will probably continue to fall in due course for sure. All right. Very good. Yes, indeed. Good to see him. Battleborn is with us here. Hello, Battleborn. Good to see you. Welcome to Battleborn. We have also have uh, Pudenda Johnson, who we've not seen in a while. We've seen the other implementations of Pudenda, which I think there's another one. I didn't realize it's a guy's name. This is mystery. Uh, it expands the mystery even further about uh, Pudenda's, uh, um, you know, her, not gender, but sex. Benny Barker, Sal said he will out the bathroom soon. Be out of the bathroom soon. Here I am, out of the bathroom, slurping away in some coffee. As we wait for the markets to open, it's about 6.02 now, so we're going to check out and see what the Asian markets are telling us here. There we are. Everything is up. 19.04, 28.04. Let's refresh this and see what happened. Boom, shalaka. They are open. So gold is opened up at just at a slight uptick. Look at that. Up 30 cents, 1904. Silver is down 0.02 cents, which doesn't register on the Richter scale of the uh, in the realms of between cents. So not no activity for silver. It's just staying kind of flat. Platinum and palladium are up too. Wow. There you are. There you go. Very good. Oh man, Kyle M bought a woke silver coin. Interesting. I'd be curious to see what that is. Uh woke silver coin. Silver Stacking Mama is here. Good to see Silver Stacking Mama. Hope you're doing well. She is a mama again. Congratulations to the birth of her new young one. All yeah, right, very good. Thank you, Bird Watcher Spotter. Appreciate it. Welcome. Good to see you. Silver Honda is here. I think Cyber Curtain Twitcher is still here too. Yes, indeed. So there's where the markets are now. So we'll come back and check on those, but everything is up slightly, save for uh, gold. All right. Let's say for silver, I mean. There was another guy from Vancouver, forgot his name. He used to post a lot of YouTube videos. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Gold Maple. Yes, indeed. All right. MVO. I think I know who you're talking about, that guy. Um, oh, what is his name? He still posts. 
I'm subscribed to his channel. I forgot his name, but I know who you're talking about. MVL9591, if the U.S. Mint is experiencing a silver shortage, they could buy silver futures and SLV and demand physical delivery. Yeah, there you go. I like that idea. I like that idea indeed a lot. Very good. Uh, Non-binary individual on it drinking a soy beverage. Okay, Kyle. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right. Non-binary. Non -binary. Ah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Mark Hazley says, you got me on this one. I used to collect coins. And I never knew about these. Interesting. All right, very good, Mark. Yeah, little something a little different for the channel. I'll do a little something. Coin Sense and Nonsense is here. Good to see Coin Sense and Nonsense. If you guys want to check out a great channel that really showcases some really cool, unique silver coins, uh, your channel is Coin Sense and Nonsense. He does a great job. Check him out. All right. Uh, and Kevin07 says, I feel like. We are about to see a nice rise in silver and gold next week. I'm doing some strategic buying this weekend. There you go. All right. Very good. Nice. We shall see. Yeah, it may be. And that's kind of one thing we'll do when we watch these markets, see what's going to happen with the movement of gold and silver for sure. Although it is a holiday weekend, so we'll see how that plays out. Hoosier Stacker is here. Nosmatics is here. Hoosier says... Um, Hello, stackers and Salivate Metal uh, and the rest of the Salivation Nation. I am in lurk mode this evening, prepping dinner with steak and corn and, and uh, car and pasta and watermelon. No smell of vision. Oh, my goodness gracious. Sounds delicious. Who's your stacker? Very good. You guys definitely check out his channel. Um, he's been posting more lately, and uh, we'll see if we can get him up to 700 friendly. So check out Who's your stacker. But he's in lurk mode tonight. But thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate you. Great member, great supporter of the channel. Just a great guy in general. Appreciate you. Who's your stacker? All right. Very good. And let's see. Let's move on up here. What are other people saying? Let's get back up to these channel comments. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rocky. Yes. Yeah, so Gold Maple has been around for a while. He knows some of these old guys. Uh, I think he's still alive, but he was a pretty curmudgeon. Uh, some from Fish VT stopped making videos due to frustrations. Um, Golden Pharaoh, yep. Um, yes, Golden Pharaoh was here. We haven't seen Golden Pharaoh in a while. Rocky Superstar says number 11 last. Yes, indeed. All right. And so Boy Truffle is here. And Barbara Carbone is here. Hello, Barbara. Here's a slurp of some pretty still hot coffee. In your honor. There we go. We've done it. Nice. Yeah, B.J. Thomas, singer who made raindrops keep falling on my head, died at the tender age of 78. Uh, Gavin McLeod, the actor who played the captain, that's right. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that was a good show. He died at the age of 90. Dan, Dan, Dan Bongino has a show on Fox News. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Dan Bongino, actually, uh, he's got um, leukemia. Or no, no, I think it's Hodgkin's, I think it's... On Hodgkin's, that's what he's got. But I think he's doing well with it, so that's good. Welcome, guys. Appreciate you guys being here. Rocky Superstar, good video. How long does it take you to do a video like this? It takes a little time. I mean, you know, to do, do a little research and plan and kind of think about what you want to say, kind of outline it. Um, you know, these videos, some some of them take quicker or quicker than others, but others uh, take some time. This one took some planning. Not This video did not get very many views, by the way. My channel has kind of not been getting it i can't blame it on youtube i mean suppressing the views but i just say the algorithm's not picking me up which is why i've been saying more you know hey uh if you're interested in watching the content just come back to the channel hit the notification bell so that you'll know when i do post a video but if you don't see that notification know that i post daily so i'm trying to do that but yes indeed all right very good yeah, buy the pullback. There you go, BZ10 sec. We're going to check the prices here again, here momentarily for sure. Uh, David Michael says, do the math. 350,000 coins in 25 minutes is 1.190 million a minute. Uh, yeah, I don't know that. Um, I'll have to look at that statement again, but yeah, crazy. Maybe that's how many tried to get an order in. But uh, but the thing is, is um, that would be... Between, I guess, both those options, I guess. But I don't know. Anyway, it's all right. Very good. 
And so thanks, David Michaels, on that one. And let's move on up here. F, the next round. Yeah, I think people are frustrated with the Mint, for sure, and rightfully so. Um, after so many failures and so many apologies, uh, we've given them some time. All right. Rocky Superstar, that YouTube is downing you. I don't think they're suppressing my views. Um, I just think the algorithm's not picking me up. Because um, <clears throat> I'm not terribly controversial with, in terms of YouTube, anyway. Uh I don't think that's it. I, I think it's just um, the algorithm's kind of missing some of mine and getting others. But we'll see. But anyways, but right, Derek Pascal says, Within a generation from now, government will be but a memory. Children will rule the earth gratis. Yeah, well, we'll see. It be a, may be a memory as to how we know it now, but I think there'll be some sort of government here. Good to see Medio Man. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Shan is here. Good to see you. Kalonic is here. Hello, Kalonic Stacker. All right, very good. <laughs> Salazar here, and we treat him like a zero. There you go, and I accept it. There you go. Algorithms don't like the. That's what it is. It's the singing. Maybe that is. Maybe that is why it's the singing. That could very well could be it. Do more U.S. Mint bashing videos. So there you go, Silver Wolverine. That might be the thing to do it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but there's some videos, like this video, Silver's biggest winning and losing streaks, I thought would get a lot of views. I thought this was going to be a great video, and it's just like, it's just crashed. I mean, there's hardly anybody watching, but that's okay. Good to see. Salavate! Good to see. Como estas, Silver Bean Counter? How you doing, my friend? Good to see you, sir. Silver Bean Counter's been posting some great videos as of late, for sure. Uh, the algorithm is just a machine made by humans. That's right, Matthew Craig. That's exactly right. Very good. True. Good to see all you guys, but I'm glad you're here. All right, go Maple. I'm disappointed, Sal. My favorite NHL hockey team, their Toronto Maple Leafs lost in overtime. Well, they named their hockey team after a gold coin and silver coin. It can't be that bad. They should come back. You know, we'll see here. All right. Silver Surfer says, not seeing the usual group of suspects here. Yep, I know. And I think that's because this one just kind of got missed. This video just kind of got missed by the old algorithm. Where I'm out of touch with, rea with reality, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it, Terry. I forget what it could be. Uh, Charles DeChiro says, uh, Morgan's evening, even VG is carrying a larger premium. Yes. All right. Let's get back to what the markets are doing right now. This is the market watch after all. And Bird Watcher watches them all. Well, thank you. I appreciate those who take the time to watch. I, it does mean a lot to me, for sure. I appreciate you guys so much. Native is here. Good to see Native. Indeed. All right. Now, the markets are reacting. Silver's down slightly. And gold is up even more. All right. Now, we just refreshed again. And uh, silver is just right kind of where it was. Kind of flat. Palladium's down a little bit. Um, and let's see here. Gold is up 90 cents austrian stacker started a good chat on sunday afternoon i don't know who that is but thank you if you uh, if they would make any more silver bullets i you know i've not seen anybody make silver bullets in a while that's a good question you know the silver the machined bullets they used to make the five ounce shotgun shells two ounce um you know 30-06 and then the one ounce nine millimeter but yeah you don't see those around i think that's because all that silver is going to make rounds, the cheaper stuff. This is kind of expensive to make those, so they machine those. All right, very good. Nathan Locke is here. Good to see you. CCT still here. Very good to see you. Speaking in Spanish, I might choke you down with push-ups. Oh, my goodness. Silver drill pickle might give me a push-up challenge. I better stretch and get this thing every, everything ready. Very good. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to stretch this thing out. The Allen Gold, Gold Rhythm. There you go. All right. And let's see here. Silver Wolverine. I would like to see JP Morgan get to work and drive that silver price down. What are they waiting for? I know exactly. What, what's going on there? It's, maybe they're trying here, Silver Wolverine. They're giving it a shot. That's where these markets are. Uh, gold's now up $1.20. Uh, that leaves the gold to silver ratio widened. Well, no, now a silver's up 0.02, so it's trying to get, it's trying to go up. It's getting pushed, it's getting pushed flat. Let's go back to the channel comments. What are you people saying here? Commander Magno, silver will continue to have gains and losses, 
But with ever-increasing inflation, more people are realizing its true value as a store of wealth relative to fiat currency. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, we'll see here. Increasing inflation is going to eventually have an effect, I think, and people will realize. All right. Very good. Thank you, Johnny B. He smashed the like button. Appreciate that. Uh, if you've seen someone make actual silver bullets, you can actually fire. Pretty costly, though. I think the company was Minuteman Munitions. Wow. Can you imagine that? Firing an actual silver bullet. Oh, yes. A Donald is here. Hello, Donald. I'm sorry. Did I miss Donald? I Yeah, good to see Donald is not here. Donald in New Mexico. Nice to see you, Donald. We slurp for Donald. He loves the slurps more than Barbara, I think, secretly. He just won't say anything. B.R. Williams, good to see you. Native stacker, J.D. Uh, Hoosier stacker says... Nice buy. I need to get back on track on my gold requirement as well. Starting with one ounce of each of the seven common sovereign nations for 2020. Nice. Good way to collect. Very good. That's uh, American Eagle, Britannia, Maple, Kangaroo, Libertad, Philharmonic, Krugerrand. To complete the beginning of my stacking journey. Nice way to collect. Very good. All right. Biden commented on a six-year-old girl's legs this week. Yeah, that is pretty sickening, I must say. Matthew says, I was thinking of having some silver rings made. Anywhere you know where I can get that done cheap. Well, there's a guy um, that uh, here, um, JT Coin Rings, that makes them out of silver uh, silver rings or silver coins. You might want to reach out to uh, JT Coin Rings. I think that's his, yeah, JT. He's a good guy. He'll hook you up. But now, if you if you want to get um, actual silver rings made and cast or whatever, I don't know where you can do that. But anyways, Silver Sergeant, wow, thank you, my friend. First super chat of the night. Thank you, sir. Very, very kind of you indeed. I appreciate that so much. Wow, all right. Very good. Thank you, sir. Numismatic Stacker says, People laugh at me when I bought a 100-ounce Inglehard bar at $3,400 cash. I will buy the other in a few weeks. They they say buy cryptos, uh, state cryptos for 30 days and get paid from them. Huh? I say I need more research about cryptos. Yeah, it's pretty speculative. Sheep Network now is here. Good to see you. Sheep Network. Yes, indeed. Dicky Dunn says, the good old days. I bought most of my precious metals throughout the 90s. I paid more for my platinum than for gold. Silver cost about four seventy five to five twenty five. Also bought two California beach houses for less than two forty each. We got more for our bucks back then. That's for sure. Wow, well done, Dicky. Yes, indeed, you bought it at the right time for sure. Uh, I was uh, when I went to Los Angeles. I drove to the top, to the very top of the uh, mountain where the Hollywood sign is. I talked to the lady who owns the house there. She bought that house for forty two thousand dollars. Um, she's an older lady. It's worth over a million now, worth over a million bucks, or at least then it was when I went. That was probably 15 years ago, or 16 years ago. All right, very good. And uh, but yeah, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's see what the markets are doing now. What are the markets telling us now? In Asia, keep in mind we're in Asia. Gold is uh. Up a dollar ten, nineteen oh five. It is. Uh, that's where it's hanging out. Silver is just is just flat. 0 0.02. At least it's in the green territory, the positive side. Platinum is up a dollar, down below twelve hundred dollars again, though. And the palladium is hanging around there at twenty eight seventy six. Crazy, crazy to see here. Drain the swamp two point oh is here. Good to see you. Welcome. L. Kyles, things are going good. Hope you're doing well. Good to see all you guys. Mark Barnard is here saying, bah. Wonder if he's going to do humbug next, or maybe he's being a sheep. Bah, you know, but that's what sheeps do, but no. All right, very good to see you guys. Nice to have you here. All right, let's see. Moving up. Okay, we got a spam crap. And we will report that. Crap. Is U.S. Mint order pending or back order? Um, I haven't checked my order status. I figured it's probably going to be October, so but I'll have to check it later and see. I don't know. My guess is it's probably going to be 
I don't know. I haven't checked it. I will have to do that. All right, Calvin Cooper, going to the Blues Club for Sunday Evening Blues Jam. Nice, Calvin. Enjoy. Thanks for being here. Carlos Danger is here as well. Saying everybody is a joke. Pelosi's a joke. McCarthy's a joke. McConnell's a joke. They're all jokes. All right. Check the Sal's Gal calendar. Hey, I, I, the Sal's, Sal's Gal calendar. I've made some movement in that direction to get things going. I will be contacting the ladies. Actually, you know what? I might do another campaign to see if we can get uh, 12 ladies. We need to get some more ladies for the 12, for the Sal's Gal calendar. That'd be real good. Surfside Gunner from Texas. Good to see you, Surfside. Welcome, sir. Glad you're here. Hagar the Hodler is here. Nice to see you. Doug and Craig, Commando, Magno, nice to see you all. Go Maple, you need to join the World Gold Council. Yes, indeed. I need to try that and give it a shot. I'll, I'll, I'll put in my application. I'll see if they'll take me in. HVAC Residential Basics made it. And Pudenda Johnson is still here. But Jen Italia is suspiciously missing. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. And so was Love Button. I've just seen Love Button, and I don't can't remember when. Man, somebody presses my Love Buttons. From time to time, it happens. Hello, Lawrence. Do you see inflation or deflation coming? I think it's going to be inflation. Yes, indeed. All the gals will be submitting their brain pics. You know, I love the ladies for... You know what? I look at it this way. I love the ladies for more than just their brain. I'm a fan of their boobs, too, I must confess, Okay. Just so you understand. All right. Let's see here. Uh, all right. Am I still? Yes. Uh, three months, July, December, and May. Yes. Silver Stacking Mama. And I'm glad you're, because you're going to, that's going to be, man, you're, you're going to be a star. Well, you already are a star. But, you know, all the ladies are going to be great. Uh, Silver World Rain is campaign to make Salivate Metal new U.S. Mint Director. Oh, my goodness gracious. I honestly think, and I don't, I'm halfway joking, but at the same time, uh, I don't, I almost feel like I could probably do a better job than, um, than, than he is. It's just crazy. He's made so many bad choices. Do you prefer paying, uh, Tony, do you prefer paying premiums on silver or gold? I don't like paying premiums on either of them, but the premiums on gold, even though they've risen as well, they're much less than silver. so And that's one reason why I've focused more on gold since 2017 and continue to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have to nominate. Yes, yeah, Slow Joe would have to nominate me. But, hey, I might be able to skirt in. You know, who knows? You probably can, can get a lot by old uh, Joe these days. So my guess is it could probably happen. Donald in New Mexico says, um, you can't talk about silver gains without mentioning uh, the discovery of the Comstock load in 1859 and the eventual building and opening of the San Francisco Mint in 1869. Also, the Pittman Coin Act of 1918 needs to be mentioned. These were a couple of the biggest winning streaks for silver. Well, this is just a winning streak since 1970, uh, Donald in New Mexico. Uh, yeah, that, but I've talked about those things before in other videos, but this video is some of the biggest winning and losing streaks since this, you know, in the last uh, measurable time since 1970, last 50, a uh, couple of years here. All right, El Porcano, thank you, El Porcano. I appreciate it, sir. He's got a little cup there for me. New Zealand there, appreciate your brother, El Porcano, the man. Mm. Ah, very good. Nicely. All right. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that very, very much. He is the second super chat of the night. Appreciate that. You guys are great. I've never had one of those super chat trains where people just line up with those things. I think if uh, if Terry were to start one, uh, that could be uh, that could possibly make it happen. That would move it. I'm just I'm very, very being very tactful and subliminal. And trying to get Terry to uh, super chat me big time, you know what I'm saying? That's you know with you know I think that's that's kind of really she won't recognize that that's what I'm doing, but it is anyways. She's trying to get me to say silver sucks. I just said it, but I don't mean it. All right, very good. <laughs> Let's see. You're all inside a simulation, inside a simulation. That's right. 
That is, what is that movie that kind of had the same layers of, that had, um, what's his name in it, Leonardo DiCaprio? No, I don't know who did, who was in that movie. It was a really good movie. Do you think Basel III will send silver higher? I don't know. I kind of talked about it with regards to gold. Um, and I think a lot of the stuff with the Basel III stuff is kind of already baked in. Um, there's a potential it could. But anyways. But I don't know. I think it's more likely to impact gold than silver for now. But we know when gold goes up, silver will go. Inception, that's it, Tippy Top. Thank you. I, was wondering, I couldn't think of that movie. Freaking insane. Great movie. First, says Dario Perez on this Silver Stackers Are Divided video. Thank you, my friend. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see here. I love how hardly anyone seems to freak out that flying saucers have been confirmed in the government. Yeah, no, exactly. It's like, hey, it's like, hey, there's flying saucers. But let's, but the government has confirmed that. No, no biggie. All right. Okay, let's see here. XRP, Sal. All right, I don't know. That's a crypto, but I'm not, you know, not as up on that. But don't know why he said that. But let's explore. Dr. Dog will hunt. That's what we do. This is how we do it. We do it. And uh, let's see here. Fourth, says Donald in New Mexico. Thank you, Donald. May the fourth be with you. Donald, still, he's still here. Very good. All right, very good. Olive Lickin Saint is here. Hello, Olive. You, did you change your name for somebody else? Well, welcome. Good to see you. What's up, Mr. SM? Greetings from Mike Kent as a black belt. Appreciate that. That helps the algorithm. I'm sure I've been needing that help lately. Cryptos are down, says C Monkey Metals. Let's see where the metals are. Are the metals up? Well, everything is in positive territory now. Everything is shining green everybody it's like christmas all right well actually it'd be christmas if there's red along with it but it's not so i guess it's the case but silver we can celebrate silver's up over a cent that's one cent silver's up look at that 0.04 percent gold is up a dollar up a buck 19.055 platinum is up palladium is up just slightly drain the swamp Thank you, my friend. He says, I got dibs in the first calendar. I think Terry should be July and Barb should be December. Neither of them would agree to um, to be in the calendar, even at gunpoint. I even, I even held a gun to their head, but they wouldn't get it. Kyle, L. Kyles is getting into gold. Very, very good. Uh, let's see here. Yes, olive leek and taint. I did bite. I, are you Savoy? Did you, were you, are you Savoy? The, the thing looks from their XRP stable coin can be backed. Hold on a second here. This is going pretty fast. What are people are saying here? XRP stable coin can be backed by physical gold and silver, preferably not stored in the UAE. Okay. All right. Thank you. Can we melt down flying saucers and use the alien metal to pay off our debt to China? Now that would be pretty cool. That would be good. Beans and sardines. Welcome. I like that idea, Matthew. Uh, my son, Beans and Sardines, convinced him to show up, shout him out. Okay, Beans and Sardines, all right. The son of Silver Drill Pickle. What an, a, a great array of foodstuffs there. We have a Silver Drill Pickle and Beans and Sardines. Welcome. All right, nice. Your dad used to do a good job at, uh, at, at push-up challenges for me, but he's been slacking as of late. No, I'm just teasing. But good to see you guys. Appreciate it. All right. Shan bought her last ounce of gold on Friday, waiting for premiums to go down now. Yes, understandable indeed. Congratulations, though. All right. Put a Teflon coating on this calendar for these freaks. That's right, exactly. Now, we could get Pudenda Johnson to participate in the calendar, too. That would solve a lot of mysteries. Indeed, solve a lot of mysteries. We're going to do this. So there we go. So there's where the metals are now. All right, back for a few minutes, letting the grill warm up. Uh, you didn't miss much. We just look at the metals. The metals started to move in positive territory just as you turn on that grill, Hoosier Stacker. That's what we were doing. Very, very good. All right, let's see here. Nose Mannix says, Greetings, Sal. I'm absolutely shaving a little cheese off. Getting ready for property opportunities. Nice. All right. Uh, expanding the horizons a bit there for you. Very, very good. Uh 
And Bradley Duncan says the aliens and their robot army will convince you to forfeit all your precious or forfeit your precious metals. And that's right. We're talking about aliens today. Might as well sell them now and blow the money in some on a good time while you still have the chance. There you go. All right. Very good. Just watch that video. He had some great commentary. Backyard Bullion and Backyard Bullion saw this video. Very good. Backyard. Nice. Chuck Bob. There it is. There it is. That's Chuck Bob. We know who Chuck Bob is. I see. That's just it. I think that this is the confusion, the gender confusion thing going on here because, you know, this is a profile of a picture of somebody. I don't know. But let's take a look. Let's, let's examine this. You know, this profile picture. What is the deal with this profile picture? Is that a real person? Is this really Chuck Bob? I don't know. I don't know. But I am the first to pop Chuck Bob's cherry. All right. Ah, over here. I heard you have several volunteer if you can't get 12 ladies. There are a couple of dudes who are going, ah, this is not a binary calendar. This is a unimary, unicameral uni calendar. If I become the mint director, I'm going to bribe you so I can get my coins first. There you go. All right. We'll give you 10% of the allotment. We'll make sure you can cherry pick those sons of biscuits too. But not the kind of popping of the cherry like I did on Chuck Bob's um, uh, uh, thingamajig here. All right. Very good. That's the love button. <laughs> That's the love button. All right. Very good orders. Hello, good from the north coast of Cleveland, Ohio. All right. You know where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is. Celtic Cannot says, Divisions increase with fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Uh, YouTube is great for opinions and education, but it doesn't pay off my debts or taxes. That's true. Silver Drill Pickle, look at that. Look at that. Silver Dr Drill Pickle has stepped up. For a goal of 20 push-ups, we're going to make it happen. Thank you. See, look at that. Um, beans and sardines. Look at that, what your dad did right here. He's making me work for this, but we shall do that. Let me slurp some coffee quick here. This is for beans and sardines pop. He did it. Man, I can't believe it. Here we go. Let's do it. All right. Ah. Move this out of the way. Now, I did say I, I can't believe it, but I did believe it, or else I wouldn't be doing this right now. All right, here we go. 20 push ups for Silver Drill Pickle. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right. A little slight overachievement for Silver Drill Pickle. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. The aliens are probably afraid of us. That's right. Silver Drill Pickle says fake. Donald New Mexico just says bong hit. Oh, my goodness gracious, too fast. No, they were, that's about my regular speed. Oh, my goodness gracious. I should have left these markets up for you while I did those. And now look at that. The green and the black. Well, look at that, guys. The markets have been a little bit hovering over that shadow there. Uh, faking push-ups. No, I, we I can't even get stacking nerd to believe me now. Uh, Gold Maple is here. Hello, Gold Maple. I'm trying to think of that other dude that you were talking about. I remember Rocky, 315W. Uh, Drudder. It's Drudder. It's Drudder. That's the guy, Drudder. Yes, indeed. In your face, daily. More coming. Four of all ages. Four all ages. <clears throat> yes, I should do push-ups with a roll of eagles on my back. That's right. Have you ever had a video demonetized? Yes, I have. I've had a video demonetized. Uh, yes, sure have. Hey, good to see Backyard Bullion is here. Welcome, Backyard Bullion. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Silver Mac is here. 
He says, Sullivan, have you seen what's going on with Credit Suisse? No, I have not, Silver Mac. Um, if you can do me a favor and email me, if it's something, if, if it's some pretty big news, just email me at the email address below, because I'll, I'll I'll report on it. Uh, maybe not tomorrow, but we'll we'll get it. I'll get it, well. I'll work on it tomorrow. But let's see here. Very good. All right. Good crowd here tonight. I appreciate you guys being here. So there's where the markets are now. They're just kind of hovering there. Gold is up, but it was flat for a moment. Yeah, thank you, Backyard Bullion. Uh, your video definitely, is, I saw your video, and I was just like, you know what? This is something that needs to be expanded upon. So I appreciate the inspiration for that. And it's actually something I kind of wanted to do for a while anyways, just as a general overall message. And uh, But it wasn't something that, uh, thank you, Silver Mac, I appreciate it. It wasn't something that I was necessarily fixated and necessarily in one, but I've, I've just seen it more and more. I know you have too, and it's kind of, it's a, it's a been a big, it's, it's a growing problem, for sure. Nosematics, I love going against the grain, especially when I shave. Now there you go, I'm with you on that one. Uh, Bean is bailing. He's got to go. Okay, thank you so much for being here, sir. Very much appreciate you. Yes, indeed. Very good. Nice. Nicely done. Appreciate that. All right. Chris Phipps. Some of the afternoons wouldn't be the same without your live streams. I'm even starting to appreciate the slurps. Well, Chris, thank you, sir. That means a lot to me. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. He must be a lurker, so I am appreciate it so much. Mm. Ah, yes, indeed. Very good. All right. Cultish says Chuck Bob. All right. Yes, indeed. Very good. And just keep stacking, says Joshua Morin. Yes, indeed. Well, and really, that's the bottom line. Keep stacking as you can and as you can afford to do so. And uh, let's see here. Okay. Nosematic says, how dare you think differently? How will you be public? Uh, now you'll be publicly humiliated over a period of one hour. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Well, and I, and part of it too is I got a comment on one of my videos about um, uh, said that I don't know history or economics. Um, I don't. You know, basically insulting my intelligence, and I was just like, you know what? That's just. It's just. Uh, people don't have to go there in order to make their point. I think if people have to insult, personally insult people to make a point, then they've kind of lost the argument. That's how I look at it. So, but anyways, um, the treasure seeker, differing views should never trigger others. Exactly right. It should not. It should not trigger others, especially, there's no reason to take any of this stuff personally. There really isn't. Most of us are in favor of listening to other points of view. What I don't like is when someone trolls you personally. Exactly. I was having the issue with another channel whose name I won't mention. Once I find them to be a pseudo-intellectual, it's when I no longer take the person seriously. Just respect. That's right. Exactly. It's really the bottom line. Just respecting one another. Um, Drain the swamp. Appreciate that, my friend. He says, Sal, I know everything about cryptos. And if you want some good info, we could talk on the phone. I turned 600 into 10,000 in six weeks. Wow. Well, Drain the Swamp, congratulations, my friend. That's uh, pretty impressive. And, you know, I think it's just, um, it's a tough thing. I don't know how to um, really, with the cryptos, I know very little, but maybe you have a strategy that's been proven. I'm not sure. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's cool. That's pretty neat. Congratulations on that. That's quite a big uh, jump there for sure. Coins A to Z, thank you, my friend. Appreciate that, Coins A to Z. And, and by the way, Coins A to Z and I have had some um, uh, disagreements on certain issues, mostly semantics um, and very minor stuff. But, uh, but um, you know, it's, um, but, and I, but we always come out friends on the, on the end, you know, if we have the disagreements. And that's fine. I think that's great. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Now we've got uh, Chuck Bob. Damn that Alan Gold. He never has said a good thing to say about anyone. Well, at least not me. Yeah, this video, actually, I must confess, this video is only about Alan Gold. No, we, 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 we know Alan Gold, just our friendly little troll. 
Dr. Dog will hunt, stack as much as you can at the lowest premium. Once you have a healthy position of both, buy what you like. Even though I'm fully positioned, I can't stop stacking. I may need professional help with my obsession. Well, you know, there is something about that. And you know, we kind of joke about it, but, you know, it's um, uh, sometimes we do have to be disciplined in that area, too. So, anyways, we wouldn't make fun of you if we didn't like you. Oh, yeah, and na a native stacker, please understand, I'm not talking about the joking around. You guys... I totally get that. We have fun here. And even with Alan Gold, I really do think he's just kind of joking around. Uh, but um, I appreciate all you guys. And by all means, you guys, yeah, I wasn't talking about that. But I think you know that. But anyways, all right, very good. Hey, multi -gun man is here. Dove Season is here. Good to see Dove Season. Welcome, my friend. All right. Silver Scientist, I just got blocked on Facebook Silver Group for saying... That there's plenty of underground silver supply, and then I provided evidence of Nevada being full of silver, and then I was accused of working for the big banks or hedge funds. These guys will be so angry when silver doesn't hit a thousand dollars. Yep, yep, exactly right, silver scientist. Well done. Yep, yeah, sorry that happened to you, but it seems to be the case. Good discussion here. I know what Team Allen on is on is the backdoor team. That's right, Chuck Bob. You got it. Exactly right. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. And uh, Hillbilling Prepping says 137th. All right. Thank you, Hillbilly Prepping. Gary Croft says, I'm an oddball. I stack gold and silver. I also collect coins. I sometimes flip gold, but never sell silver. To make matters worse, I scalp the gold and silver spot price on two trading platforms. All right. There you go. Nice. Well, people have different strategies. You know what I mean? I think in the end, when we hold some amount of gold and silver, especially in the physical, I think we're doing good. You know? Good afternoon, Calvin Cooper. Good afternoon to you. And clean money. Uh, I say let's start a Main Street gold group. Oh, there we go. Hey, I like that idea. Main Street gold group. There we go. Uh, play happy birthday on your guitar for native. Is it native's birthday? No way. Let me see if I can make that happen. I don't know how to do it, but I'm going to try it. I'll try it. <clears throat> I don't know it, but I'll see if I can learn how to fly. <clears throat> Let's see if I know it here in just a second. Let's look at the markets while this is happening here. Just a moment. What are the markets telling us? We'll watch these. Ooh, now gold is down a little bit. Gold is down slightly. Look at that, guys. We're pushing the, pushing the metals down a little bit. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, that's... That's a cross between Happy Birthday and the Star Spangled Banner. Let me try that again. Um, um, I keep on going. I keep wanting to go back to the uh, to the what call it. Anyways. Well, there is my attempt. Happy birthday to Native Stacker. All right, here we go. Let me go. Jimi Hendrix plays Happy Birthday. No, I do not know that. I knew he did the Star Spangled Banner, but I didn't know he did Happy Birthday. But Happy Birthday to Native. All right. He's suspiciously quiet here, by the way. I'm playing myself off the stage. That's right. Playing in Spanish. Espanol. Very good. Nice. All right. So there's where the markets are right now. Wow. Interesting to see. Now they're down just ever so slightly. Very cool. All right. Richard P. says, you cannot be bearish on silver with all the inflation coming on the future. 
if some supposed stackers are bearish in silver, they're not true physical stackers. They're just short-term pumpers or paper traders. I don't watch those channels anymore. Um, yeah, I, you know, it's, it's the thing is that I don't know it's necessarily that people are bearish on silver. I just think that they, some of us have seen what silver has done over the long period of time. Um, and it does go up over the long period of time. I'm bullish on it this year, by the way. But there are times when silver surprises us and goes in the other direction. And then people blame that on price suppression. But anyways. All right. So let's see here. Let's see. So that's kind of where that is. But yes, I mean, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, it's about the long term for what silver does for us. Um, but anyways. All right. Very good. Hey, no problem. Native. All right. Nice. Colonic Stacker still here with us. Eric, London always pushes silver down over Sunday night. Yes, indeed. And I like this. Let me be very interested to see what the what the historic charts show for that. It'd be very interesting to see. But that's part of the London bullion market, right? Exchange. So yes, indeed. Very good. So I'll give you extra lessons with my rig, brother. There you go. All right, nice. We'll do it. We'll make it happen. Be cool. Let me borrow that rig. Get an amp set up. Nosematic says, what was that piece of paper you showed with the old timer on it? What does the number uh, the number one represent? I'm not sure, Nosematic. Did I show a piece of paper in this video? Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. That old timer. Yes, the one represent. Exactly right. That dollar bill, y'all. I wish forgot. All right. And JL, thank you so much. He just subscribed to the channel. Welcome. Always good to have new subscribers. Thank you, JL. I appreciate that, sir. It means a lot to me. I appreciate every single viewer. So thank you very, very much. Uh, worst month for silver the last 55 years is June. Oh, really? Uh, this past June? Uh, last 55. Wow, that's interesting. Um, I would think that um, as far as the performance was... Uh, I remember, well, it went down, shoot, when it, when it got slammed down below $12 an ounce in March. I would think that would be its worst drop, but I don't know. It would be very interesting to see what, what it is. But but according to that chart, it was sometime back in the 80s when the when the biggest loss was. Raza Manaza, or maybe 70s. All right. Very good. Let's see here. All right. Kobe Flaha says, why does it take you so long to get to the point? Um, well, it's because of the topic. There's a lot of different things discussed in it. You know, I could say, well, silver stackers are divided. All you got to do is read the title for that. Uh, it's a discussion on the topic, Kobe Flaha. Um, we're going to see more comments like that. And I'll never understand this, people, because it's like, you know, I could just make a community post. said the silver stackers divided. And that's it. But there's a discussion. It's my channel. If it, uh, that's what I'm talking about. And so the point is in the title. Everything else is discussion. Silver sucks. So Terry is not a friend. But you know what? The thing is, is, you know, that's okay. You know, people don't have to like silver. She likes gold. Um, and people like gold. And the thing is that, um, you know, but to me, it's like, I don't know. It's, uh, I believe in both metals, really. But, uh, and that's okay. There's some people that just don't like gold at all, and they watch my channel, and there's some people that don't like silver at all that watch my channel. I welcome all viewpoints. But anyways, team push-ups. Here we go, nose. We like the push-ups, the nosy push-ups. All right. Send my silver for safekeeping for multi-gun man. Good to see you. Ah, back to reality. Shut up and stack. There you go. Celtic Kanad says, exactly, the U.S. dollar is fiat money by Federalist Decree. Gold and silver are God's eternal money. There you go. Exactly that's right, track, Celtic Knot. Very well said. I agree. <clears throat> All right. All right. And Syme W., um, he says, uh, keep going. You and Backyard Bullion speak as you see it. This has true value to me. Um Gold and silver are tools to achieve. We have no time for twaddle. That's exactly right. Very good. And uh, Gastoric Muncher says, these high premiums shouldn't buy into that. It should be $3 premiums in any silver you buy. Anymore, don't buy it. Um, yeah, and I understand. I mean, 
you know, the only thing I will say about the premiums is it may be uh, a new reality, that a new normal. In other words, we may never see the $0.69 cents above spot price for silver again. There's a chance that we may not. So be prepared for that to be, that could, that could be the case. I mean, and some of that may be not only based off of the supply chain crunch and the silver squeeze, but also just inflation in general. Everything is becoming more expensive. All right. Ah, very good. We accumulate silver. Everyone else is a hater. There you go, silver back El Toro. That's right. There we go. And greetings, Fabian. Alan Gold is a monkey. Greetings, Sal. Thank you, Fabian T. Welcome, sir. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Good to see you. All right. And uh, Stacking Nerd saw this video. Thank you. She says, well said, Sal. Well, thank you so much. And Stacking Nerd, you want to talk about someone who had the pulse on the good deals out there. Watch some of her older videos where she was able to tell us some really great deals, even at spot deals. Those were... Uh, a day gone past that we may not see you for a while. Thank you, Stacking Nerd. You were awesome. Rocky Superstar says, Sal, I go against the grain all the time. It's called moonshine. There you go, brother. Yes, indeed. I love it. I love it. Oh, very good. All right. Hagar, he's a hater of the haters. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hagar the Hodler is a hater of the haters. Truthful Troll says, four ones. All right, Nosematic says, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So what is a friend of my friend? Luckily, lucky to know me, I guess. There you go, exactly right. The friend of my friend is a friendly friend. That's right. Very, very good. All right, let's have another slurp of coffee. And we'll tackle a few more comments. And then we shall check out the prices, see what they're, what they're doing. It's crazy. All right, over here, I was under the impression that the Hunt brothers... Tried to corner the silver market mostly through paper uh, comments. Hmm, yeah. Um, well, I guess they, that's a good question. My guess is that probably is the case, but it was probably a lot simpler back then, is my guess. And they took a third of the silver market. Yes, indeed. So I don't know over here. Good question. Good discussion. Jar Jar Binks is here. Good to see Jar Jar. 81. Freedom Stacker, we are members of the same team because the view of the game is different for the offense and the defense. The game can't be played without all the positions being filled. That's right. Yep. There you go. I expect to take a moment to pay tribute to the men and women. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, I'm going to have a video on that tomorrow over here. I definitely do that um, for sure. Tomorrow is Memorial Day, as you know. And... Uh, we honor all those who sacrificed, gave the ultimate price. But we'll definitely stay tuned for that tomorrow. There will be a video. It's already on deck, ready to go. Sal, you have to hold the stream. I need to get a cup of coffee. We'll do. We'll hold the stream for you. And Freedom Stacker is here. Thank you, Freedom Stacker. Good to see you on teams and being on the same team. The offense and defense. Very, very good. All right. Yes, indeed. Monty is here, by the way. Good to see Monty and Bill457. Take care, everybody. 60 minutes time. Thank you, Bill457. I appreciate you being here, brother. I hope you're doing well. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. All right. Now, let us get to Silver Wolverine's comment here. He's posted on this. I don't know if he's still in the live chat with us here, but he is saying that he can vouch for this. If you're not 100% on board to paying high in premiums and the silver squeeze and raids, that uh, only push premiums to separate you from your hard-earned fiat is a higher cost. It's not inflation. It's greed. Then you're part of the problem. That's how they That's how they view you. That's right. Let's see here. Freedom is the best. That's right, Ness Maniac. Exactly. It's going to be a theme in tomorrow's video that I've already recorded. Hope you all will get a chance to watch it. Back to reality. Uno mas. One minute. Or one more. Maybe that's what that means in Spanish. That's right, and we really should all come to the conclusion, the fundamental principle of it all is that we all live in a silver wolverine, a silver wolverine, a silver wolverine. Heck yeah, where is Gold Chick? Yeah, where is Gold Chick? We have Terry, 
as a uh, secondary substitute. That's right. We'll, we'll, it's okay. We got her. Joshua Morin is here. Chat tonight makes me want to be vaccinated. <laughs> All right. The Raza Manaza. All right. Yes, indeed. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. Always keep them. Remember that. Mark B. Good to see Mark B. Is here. Good to see you. All right. Now, Rocky. Sal, I am on the medals team. I will take one ounce for the team. There you go, Rocky. Take one for the team. Nice. All right. Let's see here. Savage Stacker says, I'm on Team PM. I tried to be on Team Gold and end up buying more silver. But my pre uh, predominant purchases have been gold the last two months. And uh, out before that 50-50 gold to silver for two years most exactly. And you've done very well for that two years, my friend. Check out Savage Stacker's last couple of videos. Good stuff. Good to see. By the way, we have um, Peter Grace here. And Peter Grace says... Um, Sal Big, question and live chat recommendations to blow 30K on gold or silver or platinum. Uh, well, like I always tell people, if you have an appreciated of amount of money like that, I would probably just, I mean, silver is up and it's up near its all-time highs. Silver is not there yet, but with the premiums you're paying on it, you're paying at close to, almost close to the same thing you would have bought when silver was at... Um, you know, about 30 bucks before. Um, so uh, I don't know. I would say it just depends on your allotment. What do you have now? What is your personal gold to silver? If you're definitely short of gold, then I would spend almost all of it on gold. If not, then um, then I would say you, you can, um, 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 then you should probably buy a mix of between both. Let's see here. All right, nobody puts Terry in the corner, dirty dancing. That's right, Terry, baby, in the corner. Well, you know, hey, we can, now I'm sure she does dance good. Dancing, dancing, dancing. All right. Savoy Truffle says, uh, the people who need to hear this message the most will listen the least. My first response to this post proves the point. All right, very good. Uh, Joe says, no, you were wrong. Your opinions are in opposition to all the evidence, Sal. I like your channel, but these feelings you have about the silver market are not based in fact. It's important to recognize J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs were all implicated in DOG investigation and that fine J.P.M. Uh, well, they're investigating the other ones. Scotia Bank is not an American company. Uh, let's see here. But anyways, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to see that he's referencing a book that Chris Marcus wrote. But Chris Marcus has opinions too. And everybody goes back to Chris Marcus like he's the arbiter of manipulation. Uh, but the thing is that I've not seen any evidence of suppression. There's been a manipulation. And yeah, there's probably been manipulation in those other banks too. But not in part of a conspiracy between the banks. And the prices go up and down. Uh, and so the that's the thing. Um, so Joe Moore, and it's very interesting. I, I don't know how Savoy Truffle could uh, um, predict that Joe Moore would respond to this because he didn't hear the message. But but he's being respectful in his response there. Uh, but anyways, but that's getting into a specific topic. But anyways, Mark uh, Medlin, even knowledge can be gained in the receiving of bad advice. That's true. Yep, you're right. And Brent Rose, Roos, we all have different reasons and styles of stacking as long as we can learn from each other. That's right, exactly. I definitely want to be open to learning too. All right, what are the markets telling us now? Look at that, guys. Everything is flat. This is weird. It's all black, save for silver, and it's down to half a cent. Look at that. Look at that. I have never seen this before. Everything is in the black now, folks. In the black. Which means that it's not moving anywhere. Crazy. All right, very good. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Drain the Swamp 2.0. I appreciate you, my friend. 
Sounds like you're really getting into those cryptocurrencies. I appreciate it. Good luck and congratulations on your success there, sir. Very good. Backyard Bullion, your video uh, got way less thumbs down than my video did. I think you may have, oh, may have touched a nerve. Yes, it probably did. Um, and I, I usually do get a lot of thumbs down on my video, so I'm kind of surprised. But I think your video probably has more views by now, too. So that might be why, too, more people had an exposure to your video. But, hey, you did a good job on it, and I think the message definitely inspired me. But you did a great job, sir. So thank you so much for your inspiration and uh, your um, common sense approach to it because, uh, you know, it's like you, we just have to be careful out there. It sounds like a malfunction. It could be a malfunction. But, hey, Medium Man, let's go ahead and, and, and chalk it up to conspiracy, Medium Man. How about that? Let's say that the banks, the big banks, are just uh, have hacked into the to the markets and caused everything to go flat. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Oh, okay, now we've got to turn around. Look at that, guys. Now gold is up thirty cents again. Man, wow, strange happenings here. All right, we can't call it a malfunction. We got to call it a conspiracy. No, I'm kidding. It probably is a malfunction. Hmm. Okay, very good. All right, let's see here. And let's see. Okay, moving back up here. Let's see here. Four Nines Fine Silver is here. Banks are closed tomorrow. Yes, and that's right. They're closed. So they can't have had an effect. Maybe they're closed because they want to hack the system, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Maybe we can do a joint stream or video at some point. Two comments. There you go. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yes, indeed. For the other side of the pond. Yes, indeed. And, you know, and the thing is, is, you know, I mean, I just want to be, I just think that none of us should st take this stuff too personal, you know what I mean, uh, when all boils down to, because we have different points of view, and I think if we're open, um, then, uh, to it, and realize that, hey, I mean, like, I look at myself, I don't want anybody to take anything I say as gospel truth, do your own due diligence, your own research, don't take my word for it, um, but I do think that, um, even if we have disagreements, we can still enjoy each other's content, um, and just for the stuff we disagree with, you know, hey, you can we can have a discussion about it, or we can um, um, just agree to disagree and and embrace each other for the things that we do agree on. You know what I mean? I think that's uh, kind of the way um, that where things can be, and, th and so it doesn't get too personal. I think that's what because it, when it gets too personal, that's where you know, you know, it just it's it's unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. There we go. We have be a free thinker. That's right, cowboy. Just be a free thinker. Don't follow the herd. Um, I think there's there is that herd mentality here, and um, and I've definitely been more contrarian because I do think it's good to be independent thinkers um, and and be feel free to uh, to express your yourself uh, in those views, and we should be able to express ourselves without fear of being. Um, persecuted for it because it's just silver it's just gold i mean they're important as part of our but it's not who we are as people it's not uh, sometimes egos can get in the way and i don't want to let my ego get in the way of my viewpoints i do want to be open to some things um i really do um but it's just i don't know but i don't expect everybody to always agree with me and i do it would be just a much better world if we all could get along personally we don't have to agree i don't want anybody to sacrifice their principles for the sake of getting along either but at the same time i think it's just better to um to not make it personal i think that's really uh but anyways very good all right mike d says i can't find bigfoot maples anywhere do they exist um oh um yes they do i've seen them uh they're hard to come by, those Bigfoot privy maples. Uh, great words. Hey, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Yes, it is late there in the United Kingdom. Backyard bullion. Have a good night, my friend. Yes, indeed. And CCT still here. So he's he's a uh, he's hanging with us here this late hour. Cowboy doesn't mind being hated for his opinions. Uh, you know, and I, I, I don't think it should have to come to that. I don't think people should be hated. I I don't want to be hated. I'll, I must confess, I don't, but um, I've learned to let it bother me a little bit less, you know what I mean? Um, so in other words, if people hate me, um, like I used to not block people 
uh, and I still, it takes a lot for me to block people on the channel, but there's some people just incessantly personally attack and those guys, I'm just like, okay, I've explained my point of view. I try to be respectful about it or I might just have a, or I might get in a little shouting match with them for a little bit. And then if they just keep going on, just block them. But other than that, but I'm fine with people who confront like that guy down there at the, the under voice comment. Hey, he was respectful in his uh, his approach, you know. But anyways, but other than that, okay, very good. All right, let's see here. Hugo Boss says, "Nice video, but what is that? A George Fifth coin? Yes, indeed. I was hoping somebody would say it is a bullion coin. That is the anniversary of the Royal Mounted Police, Canadian Mounted Police, and and the Royal Mint decided the Royal Canadian Mint decided to put King George on there." Which I guess legally they could do uh, under some auspices, because they've done that before. They've used the old um, uh, effigies. I guess as long as there's a monarch on there, they can do have some exceptions. But they have to, I think they have to show a monarch on one side. Uh, let's see here. Now pass that bong, silver, <laughs> silver a Hoosier stacker, indeed. All right. World we live in, people have no tolerance for differing opinions. Cancel culture is real. That's right. It is kind of the world we live in, uh, for sure. But yes, indeed, yes. Pass that bone, treasure seeker. Here we go, here we go. Here's a slurp for you guys. And also know that I, my personality can sometimes be off-putting, too. Michael Phillip, I don't hate Sal. He just turns my stomach. There you go, all right, indeed. It turns my stomach. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about that. That sounds like the last girl I dated. Oh, let's see here. Chris Phillips says, I'm on Team Sal. I don't always agree with you, but always look forward to your videos to hear your perspective. Plus, your live stream always provides a few laughs. Well, thank you, Chris. And he was in here earlier today. So I appreciate that very, very much. All right. Yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, let's see here. All right, Rob. Rob Gibbs says, in the end, we understand the fundamentals. Well said. We understand the fundamentals of being early to the table. There you go. Exactly. If you bought gold and silver in the 90s or early 2000s or even a couple of years ago, you're doing very, very well. I mean, good grief. Yes, indeed. Uh, Stacking Coin says, I stack all three, Sal. Uh, to not is foolery. Admit the what's on the horizons. Premiums are not going to go back down um, anymore. They're making so much money off of it. And others will try to buy private as much as we can. Discounts are there, but... Gold is a better way for stacking for sure just because of the premiums and ease of stacking and storing. That's right. Dig out, dig your videos and don't sweat the pettiness and the rest. Thank you, sir. You're right. And uh, that's that's the thing. Premiums may not go back down, but with the free market, it's a chance that they could normalize and essentially go back down as spot price rises. But we'll see, at least, at least to a point here. Very good. All right. I'll see Coin Girl is here. Good day, Bob's. Good to, see, good to see Aussie Coin Girl. Yes, indeed. Aussie Coin Girl is awesome. Welcome. Glad you're here. Hope you're doing well. Yes, indeed. All right. Very, very good. And uh, let me see. I'm going to actually shed a little light here. Um, let's see the screen. Start some coffee here. We're good. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? All right. Uh... Bro Z, I'm generally very critical of most things in life, but you, my friend, are awesome. You're as real as it gets. Well, Bro Z, I thank you for that, my friend. I, it really does mean a lot to me. And, you know, here's the thing, too. I will say this. Um, generally, there's a lot more positivity in the community. Um, it's really, it's just, I think what Backyard Bullion and I were talking about, it seems to be, the other side seems to be growing. The division seems to be growing. But there is a lot of positivity for sure still, and that we should celebrate. Uh, sometimes it tends we tend to get hung up on the negative when we should really be focusing on the positive. And there's a lot of positive people out there for sure. And really it's the nuance discussion that I think most people don't get because I do like to get into the nuance. I like to see the other side. Uh, and uh, so anyways, but Treasure Seeker, your personality is fine. Well, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. I know sometimes for some people it can be off-putting, but I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Sal's mushy tonight, says Barbara Carbone. Yes, indeed. I'm a little mushy. I'm, I'm getting a little sentimental with you guys. You know what I mean? All right. 
Now, look at that. In that moment of sentimentality, we have caused the gold and silver prices to go up slightly. Gold is up 40 cents. Silver is up 2 cents. There's my 2 cents worth contributed to the silver's price. Notice, guys, $28 silver and $1,900 gold. I did a video about that, I think, a week or so ago. And those are kind of the new normals now because we've seen them again. If they can hold through this week at those prices, that may be the new normal. But what is normal these days, right? What is normal for the price? The next, I think the next psychological levels are $2,000 gold and $30 silver. And it's right around the corner. It literally is getting closer to being around the corner at this time. But we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, Fabian T, your channel is growing. You were in the 30K subscribers last year, now 43.4. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, it it's it's exciting to see. I'm My channel does not really... Uh, explode in growth like um silver dragons and yankees has their channels have just grown like like wildfire and there's others too uh that have just i mean two is one's channel just just exploded um and others but hey that's okay um it's growing and i'm fine with that slow and steady as she goes and um so yeah very good but and i'm i'm thankful for that believe you me um and it's thanks to you guys i very much appreciate it for sure um, it just, it's a different rate, but yes, indeed, it's, it's pretty cool. And I'm thankful for you guys because this channel would be nothing without the audience, obviously, which is why it's a multitude of gratitude. All right. Uh, Numi King is here with his canoe. All right. He's a Canuck with a canoe. Nice. Numismatic King is here. Dan Dollahan, Salah support the entire team. I stack both. There you go, Dan. The silver and gold. There you go. What's your email? Um, Joshua Morin. Um, the email is on the screen. Yes, indeed. Uh, Coin Sense and Nonsense says, there's no longer a tolerance for opposing viewpoints. Unfortunately, it's sad that it's come to PMs. Don't know why. It should be anyone else's concern which metal another person buys or whether the metal has a premium. Unless someone is asking for advice or an opinion, it's best to mind your own business. I've always found now it's a family holiday gathering. That's a different story. There you go. Yes. What do you say? You have debate over Thanksgiving dinner and the like. But anyways, uh, let's see here. And Silver uh, Silver Fagan and Spank Me says 143 Druid. JD, yes, Sal was getting mushy. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. Maybe too mushy. I'm sorry. God bless our troops. That's right, Joe G. We bless the troops for sure. My favorite hobo nickel, David asked. You know, I was looking around a little bit because I don't know a whole lot about hobo nickels, but there's some modern ones I saw that are just incredible, man. Wow, they're really cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what my favorite would be. I um, I like the ones that have the carvings on both sides. You know what I mean? I like those the best. Uh, let's see here. Those are the ones that I like the best. Who else is feeling sexy in here? Numismatic King wants to know. Press 1 to disagree with Sal, and Donald uh, automatically presses 1. He came to that decision very quickly as he asked that question. He pressed the number 1. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. Uh, let's see here. Creepy Uncle Sal. Uh, my dude, I love Sundays with Uncle Sal. Do you see a quick drop coming soon? I don't think we're going to see it this week. But it is a possibility. It is a possibility. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Dale Stoner. Good to see you. Some newer folks. Uh, I only watch a handful of large channels, and you're one of them. I do, however, always support the smaller channels, and I've done so since the start of my channel. Well, thank you. Cyber Curtain Twitcher, you are awesome, and uh, I am honored to have you as a viewer and a friend, and you definitely do a good job supporting the community uh, for sure. Uh, great guy he is, and yes, indeed. All right, very good. I'm too sexy for my silver, says Nazmaniac. All right, he's too sexy for his silver. Okay, let's get back here to the front and see what other people are saying here on Team Gold and Silver. Um, he says, V-dubs for life, 1964. I made a silver purchase uh, the other every other week. I don't care what the price or what the community is saying. And, there you go. and that's just it. I think that's great. 
you do what you feel is right based off the information you have and you are comfortable with and your knowledge and you understand the risk when you buy or sell, I think that's great. Way to go, V-dubs for life. Indeed. All right. I like. I just like independent thinkers. You know what I mean? Uh, so sexy that spot price hurts, says the treasure seeker. Yes, indeed. All right. Okay. New York is closed for Memorial Day, and Britain has a bank holiday on Monday. Okay, so boy, uh, thank you. I did not know that. So the United Kingdom, so these spot prices that we're seeing, and they may be relatively flat through the next day. Um, as basically only they are, the Chinese markets will be opening. Wow, I did not know that about the London markets. Thank you for that information. Uh, let's see here, for sure. Oh. Wise word, says Mike Q. I just started with gold and silver in March. 2021, I moved from a good run in index funds to precious metals. Why? Because the dollar is taking a death dive and silver and gold will grow and preserve my wealth. I have about three ounces of gold for every 100 ounces of silver. Okay, all right. Good. Nice. Thank you for that. Very, very cool. Oh, man. Okay, Aussie Coin Girl, it's 9.15 in the morning where she's at. So she wants to hear a little guitar work. Let me see if I can make this happen here. Hold on a second here. Get this thing here. Move this out. Make sure. Get this. Here's some Skinner. Oh, man, I don't know much Skinner. Get this set. I wish I had another way to really do this. That's fundamental. All right. Nice deal on sixty-four half dollars. Free bird. Now that's it. sung yet cyber curtain twitcher no earplugs needed yet well maybe for the guitar playing all right nice all right woohoo a damn greasy bum good to see you guys that's a... two lost souls living in a fish bowl with a salty silver eagle all right Ministry of Metals. I wish I knew some old ministry. Very good. See how the guitar doesn't scale, scare us away. Just Alan Gold. Alan Gold scares us away. That's right. We can't have that. 
we we should shun and ostracize Alan Gold. That's really the main purpose of my channel is to shun and ostracize Alan Gold. You know, we should be shamed if we have any association with Alan Gold. <laughs> Of course, I'm just teething. Thunderstruck. Oh man, I wish I, I'm, I wish I knew that one. I don't know that one. I, that's a that's a cool song. I like the little beginning lick to that, Fabian. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. I don't know how to do it. I'm faking it. No, no scammers are available. It's a lounge act filling in. That's right. Coincidence and nonsense. Just one fix. That's right. That's a good song, man. That's the one of the few that I, I've heard of a ministry. But just one fix, I think. That is a solid E riff there. Stop buying rhodium and buy an amp. There you go. Sal ruined Terry's reputation. That's, that's right. That's... That's my secondary goal is to ruin uh, Terry's reputation. Re reputation. Oh man, Mark Barnard, his sugar is low. Have a Snickers, my friend. You've been thunderstruck. Get that blood sugar up. Ooh man, Hoosier Stacker is back to the grill. Thank you, my friend. Help me retire the Hoosier Stacker. What's your stackers unmasking on my channel for details and announcement? Keep stacking. Check out Hoosier Stacker if you want to see him retire. Even though it's a very cool mask he's got. It's like a bandana type wrap around mask. It's got his logo on it. You will see. If you want to see him unmask that, check it out. Go to his channel. Who's your stacker? Very good. November Rain. Oh man, I wish I knew November Rain, but That's as close as I can get to November rain. Okay, is that pretty close, wasn't it? Oh man, thanks. So. All right, thank you, Mark Barnard. Have a snickerdoodle. Oh man, all right, let me see here. Um Let me see here. Uh it's been so long since I've done this one. That's as much as I know. And then... Anyways, all right, there you go. Ah, enough of fiddling around that. This is the market watch, right? We'll do some more market watching here. What are the prices doing now? Okay, the markets, looks like they're only going to be open in Asia. We understand that the London markets will be closed for bank holiday, and of course, the U.S. markets will be closed. So uh, gold and silver are just slightly up uh, out of the gates here, and this is about the time where we check out, actually, we're overdue for it to see what the charts look like. As you can see, fairly flat. Gold popped for slightly for a moment, but then kind of uh, 
normalized there in late trading here as the hour has gone on. We're now into the bottom of the next hour. And uh, silver, much the same, just kind of just hovering around there. Not a whole lot of activity and movements. Okay, thank you, Fabian T. Appreciate you being here, brother. Have a good evening. Thank you, sir. Fabian T, guys. Thank you so much, my friend. All right. Very good. Cyber Curtain Twitcher, time to go annoy the wife. Have a great night. Thank you, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Have a good night, my friend. I appreciate you, sir. Let's tackle a few more of these comments. Appreciate all you guys being here. CCT, definitely Fabian. Good members of the community. Appreciate you. All right. Moose BME. It's like being in a cult without all the other fun stuff. There you go. That's right. It does kind of seem that way with some of the mentality. Terry says, sell your hero. Silverfish VT was paying $40 an ounce for silver. Yeah. That's crazy. The prices were at that time. Nuts. Some Rocky superstars here. Born to be wild. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. There you go. I don't know that one. Have a good night, Rocky. Appreciate it. All right, let's do a few more of these. I'm going to say good night. It is getting a little bit late here. Silver Honda, I'm contributing to a higher percentage of money than I'm used to into my 401k than when I want to pay the high premiums for silver right now. But I still love silver. We'll continue to buy it. There you go. Good job, sir. Very, very nice. Yes, indeed. All right. Coin Sense and Nonsense says, seems you're pretty toxic, though. I posted a video recently where I took your channel around to Vegas. I got thumbs down and lost subs right after. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm sorry, my friend. Oh, my gosh. But, yes, I do remember that video. It was a great one. Thank you, sir. Great video. Agree 100%. Pistol Packing Pilot. Thank you, Pistol Packing Pilot. You are awesome. Another great channel in the community for sure. Randall Dobbs says, we should be in it to hurt the banksters. Premiums do not matter. Um, but I don't think that's the real, the, a solid reason to be in it. I think we should be in it to protect ourselves um, from economic instabilities. If the bankers are doing what a lot of the uh, uh, people who have that point of view are doing what they think they will, they will implode upon themselves because they can't keep doing this the way they're doing it. You know what I mean? If they're that nefarious. Um, let's see here. All right. Joseph says, I like silver due to its affordability compared to other PMs and a lot of nice coins that are minted, which I like to add to my collection. Totally understandable. But I find it very hard to ever see silver skyrocketed to a new all-time high. I'm buying in current huge premiums, but only collectible coins that appreciate in value. Understandable. And I think that's a good shifting strategy for these times. It's a biker song by Steppenwolf. Yes, indeed. Yes, I remember that song. Heavy metal thunder. Head out on the highway. All right, guys. All right, very good. Matthew Creek, I believe silver is a commodity. It will go up and it will go down. Yes, that's right. Very true. Okay. Mark Roberts says, really, I think the factors that determine what you want to do on your approach with precious metals really depends on your financial situation. Are you going to leave anything to your kids or are you planning on signing it and using it to travel among other concerns, dreams? That's right. It all depends on... Your exit strategy for sure. All right. Very good. All right, guys. Let's take a look. Uh, Don uh, Dollahan says, check out George Washington's quotes about paper money. i have to check that out. Yes. I'd like to see that. Very cool. Thank you, Don. I think I'll... Dan. I think I'll do that. Dan Dollahan. Appreciate it. All right. Cowboy Gold says, silver bugs are not nice people. You question their silver philosophies and they will come after. There's nothing new under the sun. You have the bullion dealers hyping silver and those that fall for the BS. Then you have those that are free thinkers who just don't believe all the hype. This has been going on for years. That's true. And then there's been different iterations of it through the time, for sure. And uh, it does seem like if you challenge that notion, well, you're either dismissed totally or they literally troll you um, or just come and insult you on their channel. So uh, I agree with that. Very good. All right. Thanks, cowboy. Let's see here. And Tony Slim says, keep it real, Sal. Thank you, sir. I'll try my best. Over here, I want big, Bigfoot, pretty maple, privy maple. I've been looking for years. The equals MC2. Yeah, I have the equals MC privy type over here. I don't collect these privies a whole lot, but the Bigfoot privy, 
was a Provident exclusive, I think. Um, yes, indeed. Provident exclusive. Algorithm food from Martin Olson. All right, guys. I think I'm going to hang this up tonight. We had a fun time. I appreciate you guys being here very much. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Uh, extending a multitude of gratitude. I want to leave you with a sage piece of advice. And that is to keep your feet on the stars. And keep your feet on the ground. And we will definitely... Uh, yeah, keep your feet in the stars and keep your head in the clouds. How's <laughs> that one? There's That's a new one for you. And uh, you'll have a wonderful evening. We will see you back here on Tuesday night, 6 o'clock Eastern. Have a good night, all. Take care.